you know, one of the most popular topics on this channel, and it's not surprising, is sales and marketing. So I'm going to talk about selling this week. And will you please, please stop doing one thing? That's coming right up. Okay, so what is the thing that people do in sales, particularly if they're new to sales, that drives prospects nuts? Overselling. I've had a gutful of it this week. I'm, I'm very active on LinkedIn, and I've had at least five people connect with me on LinkedIn this week, and they say, hey, um, I'm into, one was um, health products. Uh, would you like to know all about these health products? And I said, no. Um, we provide all these different IT systems. Would you like to talk about these IT systems? No. Um, we provide X, Y, Z. How about we have a meeting and I tell you all about it and do a demonstration? No. What's the problem with these people? What do you think the big thing is that they're getting wrong? You've heard of market to message match, okay? Also, what they're not doing is segmenting their potential market. I went back to one lady and said, hang on for a second. What made you reach out to me with that product? What made you think that I was interested in that product? And I wasn't being rude. I was trying to be helpful because I love marketing and it, it kind of frustrates me when people get it wrong. So why did those three people reach out to me? It was just random on LinkedIn. Don't be random. It's, it's like you know, turning up at a party at your friend's house and saying, hey, buy my stuff, you know, to all their friends. You're going to quickly upset a lot of people. So how do you go about selling? How do you go about selling anything, but particularly consulting? You do it in a consultative way. You don't push. And I've talked about this in earlier videos. You've got one of these and you've got two of these for a very good reason. Listen to what the customers want and don't go out there pushing your stuff at them. Nobody wants to be sold to. So how do you go about it? Do you know, in, in my consulting business, we don't have salespeople. I haven't got one. I rented, I, I rented one. I hired one um, about 10 years ago. and It was disastrous. Um, because people don't want to be sold to, they want to be listened to. So how do you sell consulting? You attract people to you and you listen to what their problems are. And then if you think you can help them, if you think you can help them, you say, would this be of any help? And see if they want it. You don't go rushing out into the market and, and just, you know, <laughs> reaching out to random people saying, you want this, you want this? Because they're going to go, no, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. Someone, um, a, a guru in sales and marketing told me some time ago that only about 2% of your market is ready to buy at any one time. Just think about that, 2%. So whatever you consult in, there might be a massive market, but they're thinking about it. They're not sure if they want it or not. They're not even aware of the product. Only about 2% of them are aware that they need it, that they want it, and they're ready to buy. So it's up to the buyer when they come to you to seek out your services. So how do you get around all of that? It's called marketing. It's called social media. It's called giving. So you should be constantly out there uh, helping your market, uh, giving them tips. That's why, do you see all the really successful people do, do loads of blogs and YouTube channels and things like that? Because they're giving, 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 they're staying front of mind. And when those people are in that 2%, when they actually want the product, they'll think, ah, Harry, he's the guy to talk to. It's about keeping front of mind. And you won't ever have to sell anything to anybody. They'll come and ask you. So, do not, that's the message, do not just reach out to random people, be targeted, you know? Did that IT guy do any kind of research that I need an IT system? No. In fact, he shouldn't need, he have even done that. He should have been writing articles about his IT systems. He should have been maybe having webinars. And if I opted in to those, then he could have called me because I would have been a warm prospect, not totally cold, just totally unaware of what his products are. So please, don't go and sell it selling too much to people. Don't go over the top. Just make people aware of what you do, how you differentiate yourself, and they're going to come to you. Okay? Now, I have a request this week. 
um, because I mentioned right at the beginning of this, sales and marketing topics seem to be the most popular, but I'd like to hear from you. So please, please, please comment down below. I've had loads of people saying, we love your channel, it's great. You know, why isn't it so much bigger? Well, it's a very new channel. And I really want to provide some of the, uh, the content, some of the advice and tips that you want. So please, below this video, write down all the kind of stuff that you'd like to know more about in terms of starting your own consulting business, being successful, sales and marketing, whatever, anything related to consulting. And I'd be happy to put some videos together. Don't forget, don't oversell. People hate it. <laughs> Thanks for watching and see you next week.